good morning students today we are going to read a new chapter daddy long legs which is written by a famous american writer jane webster daddy long legs is a 1912 epistolary novel by the american writer jane webster it follows the protagonist jerusha judy about as she leaves an orphanage and is sent to college by a benefactor whom she has never seen the plot of the story jerusha abbot was brought up at john grayer home an old fashioned orphanage the children were completely dependent on charity and had to wear other people's cast off clothes Jerusha's unusual first name was selected by the matron from a gravestone which she hated to use and she replaced it by the name Judy while her surname was selected out of the phone book at the age of 17 she finished her education and is at loose ends still working in the dormitories at the institution where she was brought up one day After the asylum's trustees have made their monthly visit, Judy is informed by the asylum's dormitron that one of the trustees has offered to pay her way through college. He has spoken to her former teachers and thinks she has potential to become an excellent writer. He will pay her tuition and give her a generous monthly allowance. Judy must write him a monthly letter because he believes that letter writing is important to the development of a writer. However, she will never know his identity. She must address the letters to Mr. John Smith and he never will reply. Judy catches a glimpse of the shadow of her benefactor from the back and knows he is a tall, long-legged man. Because of this she jokingly calls him daddy long legs. She attends a girls college on the east coast. She illustrates her letters with childlike line drawings also created by Jane Webster. The book chronicles Judy's educational, personal and social growth. One of the first things she does at college is to change her name to Judy. She designs a rigorous reading program for herself and struggles to gain the basic cultural knowledge to which she growing up in the bleak environment of the orphanage never was exposed. During her stay, she befriends Shally, the most entertaining person in the world, and Julia, and sups with them and Leonora Fenton. At the end of the book, the identity of Daddy Long Legs is revealed as Jervis Pendleton whom she had met and fallen in love with while she was still unaware that he was Daddy Long Legs thank you let's know about the writer of the story Daddy Long Legs that is Jane Webster Jane Webster was an American writer and author of many books including Daddy Long Legs and Dear Enemy Her best known books feature lively and likable young female protagonists who come of age intellectually morally and socially but with enough humor snappy dialogue and gently biting social commentary to make her books palatable and enjoyable to contemporary readers Thank you